Since its inception, Blanket Sunwine has blossomed into one of Kampala's must-attend gatherings. Besides a different musical lineup every time, the fashion is always one thing we look forward to here on the show. You are watching Uganda's unrivaled style and fashion TV show, The NTV Cell Project. Welcome aboard, I am your host Azibon Solomon and tonight, I am with the usual suspect, starting off with Bettina Tiana. Hey guys. The little Sana Sheila Gashumba. Um, hi, and it gives me so much pleasure talking about Blankets and Wine because mm -hmm. I was at the very first Blankets and Wine where there were literally only 20 people. Yeah, and me. our guest for tonight, social media influencer and fashion student, Gulam Speed. Welcome to the interview Hi everyone, my name is Gulam. Speed. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> so Gulam was in attendance and he looked dapper, fresh. I he know. was a vibe. What did you think about the event? The event wasn't as fun as December's. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was mm -hmm. mad in its own sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the um, style? I didn't like the style personally. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Mm. I'm, what comparing, I'm, my child, I'm comparing it to, to the, December. The, the, the December edition. December edition. A very, very first attendee who happens to be Asfa Nomini 2018 for Male Fashionista of the Year, Sir Owen Dapa. I love him. I don't know him. Nice. Mm. He's a very stylish yeah. guy. Yeah. Is mm. it? Like so what do you think of this, this mm. romper, Sheila? Is it something that you <laughs> buy your better half? <laughs> no! <laughs> that would be terrible! <laughs> Imagine that size, no. I mean, no, this, honestly, I feel, I think the idea is nice. Yeah. But I think this would have looked better on someone else. When I look at this ensemble, I, I don't think know. of Taz Bon Solomon. I feel like yes. he has inspired Ghana <laughs> guys to love play suits. And, and Prince. And Prince, Owen looks nice in this um, animal print. I love the tiger. Inspiration mm -hmm. going on there. His hair is perfect. Gulam, what do you think yeah. about his accessories? His accessories, he went well with the accessories. Mm. And, and the outfit? Yeah. The outfit is a 50-50 for me. Mm. Mm. I'd prefer it on someone more lean. Oh well, moving on to Facebook. Do you know what they call themselves bloggers? Mm. Facebook blogger. Does that make sense? They're very opinionated people. Facebook bloggers feel like they own the world. They can yeah. rush you and make you. That's what they think. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. Not in my so world. So what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Who are these? Ray superstar, superstar and a friend. He looks good for a blogger. Yes, guy. he's actually a handsome guy. Yeah. Yeah. Putting out People stuff. Talk so much. Look, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. He's he's trying. I mean, we we I can put him in a category of really f like fashionistas. He's just like they. He's but just. You see a little bit of effort. He's, yeah, it's money. effort. If yeah. he had more money, honey, you would see. Like sometimes <laughs> the problem is money. <laughs> about money yeah. it's and not it's, money yeah. no but i mean it's there's some money. no but there's some that that went around on social media the other day that's yes. all the water huh? but, but the honey you need some money. Some money. Hey. <laughs> you need some your personal look not the choice of what you're going not the wear. choice of what you're going okay. to wear mm. fashion and is if you money. look good mm. whatever you wear will look good me i think yes. he's okay mm. for me he's okay there are some people who looked worse i love this tribal shirt if i had a man i would buy him this Mm. I love the whole Let's trend. talk about uh, the gentleman yeah. on the right. This one needed no, to be at Spina Beach. I'm like yes. so tired of seeing these shirts. <laughs> That's what every typical Sorry, Ugandan God. man yeah. wears. To a day Who event. Who opens that shirt and shows us the best? Shirt, like that's 2008. That? What is he putting on pants that are up to the knee? Like, what? You <laughs> guys? No, guys. I don't think your shorts should go all the way to the knees. If you're wearing shorts, wear shorts. They then come above your knees. Yeah. People tend to forget the tiny things. Mm. For example, his laces. Mm. There are different different ways of tying shoe laces. Okay. I think for laces, um, the less they show, the better. Before I actually look at an outfit, my eyes practically go to the feet first. Yeah. And when I saw <laughs> these flats, mm -hmm. I was like, this outfit is already ruined. Yeah. What I feel, mm. there is no effort at 
all these are people who look like they got free tickets and they're just there to make sure they're at the front of the stage to just shout and say hey, I mean, there. you get <laughs> and you know i actually take the most pictures those kind of people mm. yeah. well, guys, i beg to differ i love her top i love the pants it's it's it's, it's black it's and wine you want everybody to see you looking nice it's very refreshing. sweetie is this nice <laughs> i love it I love nice. It. the job is nice yeah, but there is no flow everything is alone okay how can you make this look better because i feel like there's something going mm. on that is nice Mm. What can we take away? To make Honestly, the shoes, yeah. the shoes have to have something more. Open. The tights, hello. The shoes, the tights need the tights to go. Are the hair needs skin. to go. The that's, sun that's is need to go. Guys, I, I think, think that's she was wearing edit. tights. Yeah. Sweetie, okay, do you know what I think? I think everything needs to go. I feel like this top <laughs> should have been, you know, those shift short dresses, maybe yeah. like in a like a, a yellow, mm. and nothing inside. I wish I had like like some simple heels or sandal heels mm. and shorts off. I don't know if they are those tights or shorts. I don't know. Sunglasses off, the hair off, like ah. Uh, Okay, moving on to another blankets and wine regular mm -hmm, who happens, I think is, is he like a Carlton? brand manager or something sometimes when you look good you can practically dress up in just about the Anything, simplest things yeah. and just pull them off mm -hmm. and I think he has that advantage but I still feel maybe we needed to see a little bit more effort you know mm. i love the fact that you know he looks very cleaned up he cleans yeah. up really He's nice handsome as well yeah I think it's better if, if the pants were a bit fitting, more fitting, mm. you know, not as baggy as they are. Mm. Yeah. Not very fitting, but a mm. bit. Yeah. They were so baggy and they fall down. You can actually get skinny pants that are comfortable. How? Stretch fabric. Mm. It's actually cheaper mm. tailoring pants than buying pants. Is it? Yeah. So maybe stick with, the, with buying shirts, mm. Mm. tailor pants. They'll be unique. They're mm. the only one with them. Mm. I yeah. think there's like a hundred pieces. When when you went to buy those pants, they're like a hundred pieces of them. Mm. You actually went to the downtown shop. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, buy ah, wholesale. Ah, 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 I think it was uh, basically just trying to be a little bit but more like African. He really has too much. Because I feel like the jacket has to go off. The bag, did, did, we did not need to see that bag. Yeah. And the first painting, how old are you, first of all? Well, okay, yeah, first painting. It can be cool, you've done it, it before, right? It can be right? cool. First painting can be cool. A little bit less on you. When you have a little, oh. I've seen this South African DJ that actually does the first And that's his brand. Mm. And that's him. He mm. looks That's his identity, like his skin yeah. His is so good. This and it ha everything is minimal because we have this in our yeah. faces. Like oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. There is so much. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton. Mm. Oh wow, look who we have here now. We have a ShopRite packing bag. The first thing you notice when you look at the picture. She was actually the accessory of this shopping bag. Is the it? shopping bag was the main act That's, and uh, she was just the accessory because... <laughs> you guys, this look is crazy because I do not know why she thought this ShopRite bag is going to match her master yellow yeah. top. Yeah. Well, actually, you I think that's why she was going I think for, yeah? she wanted to match. Like, it's okay. It will match. Guys, stop. No. <laughs> no, no. Don't do this. Okay, I think people just need to be educated to about how you go for a picnic kind of event. I mean, there are people literally shop bags, just carry their alcohol and they look stylish, like stylish bags for picnic parties. You can have, like, okay, unfortunately, she's also not well-dressed enough, but you can't be, imagine someone being extremely stylish and with a shop right kind of thing, spoiling your look just because you want to have drinks inside. So, guys, if you're going out to this picnic, um events you know shop as like go try and buy picnic bags like yeah. something cool to match your outfit mm. and Where the mats to be online because i i can't even say anything here the in uganda corner, and the corner, corner nice bags, so. Kas -Kas has, there's a couple yeah. of designers who are actually going into making yes. accessories her skin looks really beautiful and i also love the floral going on with the pants mm. it's very refreshing for blankets and white you know i actually saw this shirt i saw a meme the other day on social media and it had this shirt there were four items and the meme said if your boyfriend has any of these items don't take your relationship seriously wow <laughs> this kind of shirt saying <laughs> that? someone said if your man wears sweatpants don't take him serious <laughs> If you really the type who loves to dance and have fun, try to look out for the funkiest or the trendiest shorts. It's yeah. the best way to. Mm. And if she has very nice legs, I mean, look at them. Mm. So that's what I like about this outfit. I'm not sure for the what shoes are those. But. Of course, flats. Well, speaking more a bit mm. about this look, you know, when you go for an oversized jacket, try to keep the top as 
minimal as, as you can. Yeah. And also, if you're doing denim on denim, please make sure they're the same tone. Joram, always here for the party. The thing about, you know, Joram, there are some people who really, you know, they, they dress their character and yeah. who they are and their personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy who's always like on the other side of life, what's his name? Emosa. Emosa and yeah. Joram. They just dress their character and their, and their personality. And someone who dresses who they are, you can't really talk about it so much because that is who they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sneakers are bomb, but not yeah. on that whole look. Mm. The print on that throw on takes a lot from the sneakers. Mm. Now the sneakers alone would have been like a statement yeah. piece. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um again. number one I like the bug background. <laughs> the whole colours. <laughs> Before I even talk, talk about the outfit. The day at, uh, uh, at Chadondo, yeah. the first thing you'd see was that background. It went high. Did you take pictures? Yeah. Obviously. Ah, is yeah, she wearing like about... micro shorts or yeah, micro pedos? <laughs> I should say I love this look. Really? I really love this look it's except for the flip flops. Yeah. You love it when you look at it. Mm. But then once you go to everything, Alone, alone. you're like, it's not, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's better as a hair, combo. Though, and the hair is also yeah. a bit like lacking in a way. Mm. You can all wear, you can all wear sleepers. But they're cute, she's yes. not wearing umoja. It's slippers. <laughs> slippers are for the bathroom, guys. For the bathroom. Not even walking with in the house. Not even in the house. And what do you walk in, in the house? House shoes. Loafers? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. So I think her, her outfit is so cool. Her top. I love, girl, I love your look. Sheila, her top is so classy. It's a high But I don't like the belt. She got the top and yeah. failed what to put the top. Yeah. Hmm. Moving on, we have an attendee with the Egyptian theme going on. I, for one, I love the fact that everything is on theme from head to toe because we see the Egyptian headpiece. The hmm. wig is neat. It's well done. It looks expensive and Quality is always essential. I love the fact that we have some jewelry going on here in her Sundays, guys. When you wear a theme, when you when you have a, a theme going on in your mind, make mm. sure you execute it properly so you look organized. So from head to toe, for me, it's a ten over ten. I love this look. I do love it as well. It's it's you know it's 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 just uh, refreshing just to see. Mm. I love Someone it. Who is stylish. Yeah. <laughs> do you know why I'm quiet the whole time? Why? Because <laughs> Bettina. Because I styled this look. Is it? Yeah. Oh! So, so basically, oh, just falling ah. back and listening. Imagine, <laughs> mm, Bettina, meanwhile, we're on the good side of life I'm because. I'm not from Jazzy, but I regular Ugandan. That's why I was like, it's refreshing. Is she Ugandan, though? Yeah, she's a. I regular Ugandan, no, honey. What's her name? She's called Shilo. Oh, she, she's she? a philanthropist uh, okay. she, and a businesswoman. Mm. Mm. Gulam, what do you like? What don't you like? Be honest. I don't like the. Mm. Wait. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you make of the style at the previous edition of Blankets and Wine? This previous one? Yes. I didn't see any nice looks that really wowed me. I love Gulams. I love the lady that you styled. Mm. I love Sir Owens. This time, I feel like because I was not on time, I was at Blankets at four. Mm. And there was still like a <laughs> lot of like open spaces. Oh, there were okay. barely you like any. Not at all. The only exception is that this time they were a bit more organized. So, what tips do you guys have for people next time? Because they always yeah. announce like two months before, one month before, and they always create the hype. Mm. So, it's it, it, definitely you have a lot of time. Mm. Now, so many designers are doing ready to wear you know, outfits, Shamtaira, so she started, yeah. Fatuma Asha, and then also, there are so many boutiques coming up every single day, so many people are selling trendy stuff, mm. so just be up to speed, because you never know, you, someone could, I mean, you could be on the self mm. project, you could find your next man there, I mean, you could be <laughs> friends with Sheila, you can be, end up being friends with Tazibon, <laughs> Bettina, Sheila, listen, I've never even looked, so. I feel like Blankets and Wine has a very, like, open theme. It's mm. not very, it's not, it does not have a so, theme it's time. But that's even So you have like the luxury so of working with a lot, yeah. you know. And at this point, I don't expect for us to still be getting disappointed from mm. some of the looks that we keep critiquing here on the show when there's like a lot of sources of inspiration. Instagram is there, fashion, TV, there's like a lot at your disposal. Like many points yeah. tend to want to hide what they're going to wear. Ah, yeah! yeah. We like missed that before. Before. Oh, That's what we used to do. <laughs> Someone they would uh, tell you what we're going to criticize you on here. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, on that note, let's take a quick break. We will be with you in a bit. I'm here with Beatrice, um, director and founder of Fashion Africa Now. Tell us more about the project that's going on right here. Hi, thank you first of all for having me here. So I'm Beatrice, um, I'm a creative producer and I'm based in Germany, in Hamburg. And I'm one of the curators for this project, Connecting Afro Futures, Fashion, Hair and Design. It's an exhibition that will take place in Berlin in August 2019, so a few months ago. And it's an exhibition about fashion design, hair design, and uh, we're focusing on the countries Uganda and Senegal. So therefore, we're here today showcasing Gloria Vavamuno, Lamla Nasuna. These are the two designers we selected. Now, for somebody who is back home, may not understand the purpose of this and how Ugandan fashion designers are going to benefit those who are actually going and those that are going to stay home. Would you say this is going to be beneficial to the fashion industry at large or just to the two designers that are uh, being flown out to Berlin in August? No, I think the designers here will also benefit from it since um, Uganda will be on the map. The exhibition is going to be um, in Berlin and uh, the museum is a very well-known art and design museum. So the press, the PR, people are going to talk about Uganda. People will be discovering now fashion from Uganda. So international press will be involved and of course they are going to be more keen to know like what's it? going on in Uganda who else is there what other fashion designers are going to be there and this is also my part I'm not only going to introduce these two designers so I will also write about other designers who are based here to give them also visibility any last words for an upcoming designer back home who is watching what can they do to you know earn from their talent and to improve their talent and craft I think what I would um, mention is you really need to know your story. What are you? What is your story? And um, you have to think where you're going. Are you a sustainable brand? Um, where do you want to be? And please do your homework. And with homework, I mean research. Check out people who are in the business, who are really doing great. Um, get access to them. Make sure you're either on social media, wherever, following these people, these experts. Try to reach out to them and think of your story, think of quality, quality matters. If you can, travel, travel, and um, be always out there, seek for new ideas, and um, stay true to your roots, that's also very important. Exactly, I love, love, love your choice of what. Thank you so much, Beatrice, and we shall be following you guys up to see how everything goes down in Berlin come August. We know you're best in London, but you're Ugandan. Yes. Yeah, Nasuna, Muganda. <laughs> That's right, yes. I am I am a Ugandan. Yes. Tell us about what's happening here today. Okay, so today is an exhibition that is called um, Connecting Afro Futures. It's um, an exhibition that is brought from Berlin and it's based between Berlin and Kampala and this is the first part of it and it's in collaboration with 32 East Ugandans Art Trust and my collection is called The Perfect Stereotype and that basically means it's challenging the social norms and the sort of like um, pressures that we put on ourselves. But in particular, what I focus on, which you might see, is the black. So for me, it's sort of trying to break out of the norms of what black people are supposed to wear, like bright, vibrant colors, but it's more contemporary and arty. Lovely, lovely. So I love the fusion and the collaboration that we're having um, with Ugandans and people from um, Berlin. How do you think this is going to um, elevate Uganda's fashion? Well, it's definitely putting, showing that Uganda is, has got talent and bre again, breaking the stereotypes of what African fashion mm -hmm. is. And if, of course, Uganda falls into that, into that box and just shining a different light on it. Gloria, I love, love, love this piece. I love the way it's put together. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, well, this piece is one out of three pieces that we'll be showcasing at, in Berlin at the Contemporary Design Museum. And this piece particularly is called The Sun. So it's a reflection of 
Yes, the sun, it kind of, it, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself yes. because Uganda is a very sunny country. Exactly. And then, of course, the yellow that is in our flag and representative of the sun, but then trying to play with that narrative and then at the same time express uh, what I believe the sun is representing, which is growth, regeneration, energy, and that's what we need in our, well, in the conversation I'm trying to bring up, which is trying to talk about our past ancestral spirituality practices. I love, love, love the theme. And I'm super excited that you're going to Berlin to represent Uganda. Yay! What do you think this project is going to um, impact on the designers who are here in Uganda that won't get a chance to go to Berlin? Is there something to learn from this experience? Um, I mean, I would love to just g keep them to give inspiration to be yourself. I hope that's what they get from it when they're, when people always, you know, as artists, we're observers we're trying to articulate what we see in the world but mainly we're also trying to figure ourselves out as humans so i hope that by people seeing me be vulnerable and really bare and kind of seeing very sensitive parts to me because spirituality is something that's very important to me that they feel comfortable and proud and also vulnerable to speak their voices from their backgrounds from their experiences and like let us hear all the various african stories and narratives that they are you know because there isn't just one but I definitely think they shouldn't anymore be a Western narrative of an African it should be an African narrative of an African yeah, we are the style project and yes. people back home do enjoy your designs yes. do we get to see a collection from you this year yes you know I'm always really blessed that I get to show a Kampala Fashion Week so my SS20 will be showcasing then Hello, hi, I'm feeling great. So I'm here because I'm one of the curators of Connecting Afro Futures, fashion hair design. And I myself, I'm a curator for design and I'm working in the Kunstgewerbe Museum in Berlin, which is the place where in August we will open the whole exhibition project. First of all, tell me, what do you think about African fashion and Ugandan fashion? Yeah, and I think uh, thinking about African fashion and it's we should not uh, call it longer African fashion. So when we talk about fashion, it's like global fashion and, and we should really work on that. And that's why I'm in this project. This is what's interesting me, the, the global design discourse, because so far we were talking about Western fashion and Western fashion went to the design museums. And when we are talking about African fashion, it went to the ethnographical museum and it was not seen on the same level like like Western fashion. It was meant to be uh, on a lower level. It was meant to be not fashion but dress. It was meant to be an artisan, an artifact, but not design. And this is something we're trying uh, to overcome in our project. And this is why I'm very happy that Lamla and Gloria, which we chose from Kampala, they are really on that track. So I would be absolutely happy if for the future we could show more uh, fashion I'm not saying African fashion but I mean African fashion and I really hope that we are able to engage uh, a broader public because we have a large diaspora also in, 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 in Germany an African diaspora and I'm hoping very much that they are coming to see the exhibition and to see how wonderful pieces are coming out uh, out of their maybe home country. Or thank you so much, Claudia. Yeah, thank you also so much, and I'm seeing you in Berlin. Oh, I hope I'm, I hope <laughs> I'm there. I am hope I'm there with the style project to actually cover this project because it will be an eye-opener for other designers that their work can reach places. Tonight's show has been shot on location at Abraham's collection, the plug for fashion forward men. Do check them out at Garden City for all the latest in menswear. It's been your girl Sheila Gashumba and my hair has been done by Chris, Trend Saloon, uh, makeup by Shilad. Thank you Jojo Fashion for styling me. I love, love, love this dress. Make sure you follow her. She is an upcoming designer that I love to work with. Make sure you check her out. And my jewelry is from Sheila Moore. Find her Garden City, second floor, and my makeup from her as well. You can also follow me on Instagram to see the full outfit. Thank you guys for watching. We love you for watching. And thank you for gracing the NTV Cell project. You're welcome. It's been an honor being here. Mm -hmm. You can catch me on Instagram at gulam underscore speed. Mm -hmm. Snapchat gulam underscore lamela with a double L. And who are you wearing tonight? Evans. Vans. <laughs> I love the color. The color is like amazing. On that note, we're calling it a wrap. Take care. Stay blessed. And have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.